Hello guys and welcome back to another video and we're back in the BMW 130i today and I'm actually going to be replacing the steering wheel. So a couple of videos back I mentioned how bad of a condition my steering wheel is in and that I really wanted to get it replaced at some point so that is exactly what we are going to do today. Okay then, so I've actually been in contact with a company called GS Specialties and they actually specialize in refurbished steering wheels and they've kindly sent me out a new steering wheel to install and review today. Now as you can see, it's just an original BMW steering wheel so it comes with the perforated leather on the sides, the smooth leather on the top and the bottom and it is finished in this nice M style stitching which I'm a massive fan of and first impressions, I must say the quality on this thing is top notch now when it comes to refurbishing or swapping out your steering wheel you kind of have a few options so obviously you can attempt to retrim your own steering wheel yourself and yeah this is not something that i would attempt to do myself i know i would just make a mess of it and um, it's not going to look the same as if it was to be done professionally. You have another option of sending off your existing steering wheel to be retrimmed, and that obviously means that you are without your steering wheel for a few days or so. And of course, you have the option of just buying a steering wheel complete like I have today, and it means you get to keep your existing steering wheel if you want to keep it as a spare, or maybe you want to try and sell it to get some money back. And I'm pretty sure that to buy a steering wheel from GS Specialties, it actually works out cheaper than to send off your existing wheel to get refurbished. So in my opinion, it's really a no brainer. Now, if you do want to check out GS Specialties, I will leave their links down below. If you want to send them a message and let them know that I sent you, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm actually going to show you what my existing steering wheel looks like now, and then we'll move on to the install. Okay, so here's my existing M Sport steering wheel then. As you can see, it's very, very worn, especially along the top. And this is actually the main reason why I'm replacing this today. Now I'm gonna be using my existing uh, trim piece, existing multifunction buttons, and the existing airbag. I believe you can actually buy the steering wheel along with the trim piece from GS Specialties. So if you do need to replace both, it's worth buying them both together. But without further ado, let's get on with the removal of the existing steering wheel and then let's get on with the installation of the new one. First thing is first then, just for safety because we are disconnecting an airbag. Obviously, just disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Now then, when it comes to removing the steering wheel, obviously we need to remove the airbag first so we can access the main bolt. And when it comes to the removal of the airbag, it can be quite tricky. There is two slots, one on either side. There is kind of like an indentation there. You wouldn't actually, you know, notice it unless you was looking for it. Obviously there is this screw hole there, that's to hold the trim in place. But this little indentation there, that's what you have to push a screwdriver through or something similar. There's one on each side, you push a screwdriver through there, it pushes a clip and then the airbag should pop out. So let's do that now. Okay, so the spring isn't very far in. You just have to push in and you'll feel it have some resistance. And at the same time, push down on the airbag to release it and then it should pop off. Now obviously I've done the same on the other side as well. I've released the clip on this side so the airbag is now free. I just need to disconnect the electrical connector which should be able to be removed with the screwdriver. There we go, yeah that tab lifts up and that should just pull out then. Oh, there's another one as well, so the same. Just get something to prise this little retaining cap up and it should pull out and there we go that's the airbag removed and now obviously because we have the bare wheel to go in its place we need to remove a couple of things the trim piece and the buttons they can all be removed once i have you know removed the steering wheel completely i just need to remove these clips from the steering column you should just pull out There we go, that's these two connectors unplugged. And now the steering wheel can be removed and it looks like it's held in by just one nut. I'm gonna take a guess at 
either 16 or 17 millimeter for that but we'll find out yep so it turns out that this bolt is a 16 millimeter so i'm going to go ahead and remove this now there we go it's the bolt removed and this entire thing should now come away there we go it's the steering wheel removed and as we can see we have a whole load of dirt and dust and whatever else built up on here so I think I'm going to give this a good clean up before we install the new wheel. Now what I need to do is transfer everything from my old steering wheel over to the new steering wheel so that obviously there is the trim piece along with the multifunction buttons and then there is these few wires as well there's just one ground strap there it's held in by a T10 screw and then the trim piece is held in by three T20 screws that are on the back. And with all the screws removed, we can go ahead and pull this trim piece off now. And then we just need to pull this wire out. So it's held in by this little clip here. We actually need this entire thing that just slides. That's another ground strap, it looks like, that just slide onto the new wheel. This is everything that we need removed now. And there we go then, we have installed the trim piece and the wires from the existing steering wheel onto the new one. This is now ready to be installed in the car. And now all that's left to do is just slot the new steering wheel in place. You can't put it in the wrong position, there's actually a marker on the spline, it only lets you put it in one position. And then all we need to do is reinstall our 16mm bolt. Tighten this down. That'll do it. Plug our connections back in. Make sure they are firmly in place. You don't want to have to remove the airbag again unnecessarily. Make sure your grounds are in place. Then we can reinstall our airbag. Obviously it's just a case of pushing the connectors back in. Once they're in place, you can then slot this in. And it might actually be helpful if you push the screwdriver back in just to allow the spring to move over and then the airbag can then drop in place. Not sure if I'll have to do the same on the other side. No, it just popped right in. There we go. That is the airbag reinstalled. And now all we need to do is reconnect the negative battery terminal. jobs are good in. And now take a look at how much nicer this new steering wheel is. That looks so good there now. Looks so much better than the old tatty worn one. Yeah, dead happy with that. Okay, so I just thought I would take the new steering wheel for a little spin and my god it feels so much better. It's so nice to have a fresh new steering wheel this is how it should feel this is how it probably did feel from factory the car literally feels new again i know that sounds crazy like you know the rest of the car is 15 years old and um you know it's only the steering wheel that has been replaced but i guess one of the only uh, point of contact you have while driving is with the steering wheel right so i guess if the steering wheel feels new then the rest of the car feels new um, but yeah, it's definitely made the world a difference. It feels like like I have more confidence in the steering wheel now. It's, I definitely have a lot more grip like before because 
you know, the leather was so worn and the perforated uh, parts on the side were just, you know, so flat that uh, I really didn't have the, um, you know, right amount of grip on the wheel itself. But yeah, now that it's all fresh and uh, how it should be, yeah, the uh, steering wheel feels so much grippier now, which is uh, nice to have when you are going on a spirited drive. Okay then guys, so that is another job done on the BMW 130i. I'm very happy with the outcome. And if your steering wheel looks anything like my old one did, then I would 100% recommend doing this. You know, it completely transforms the way the car feels when you're driving it. And um, yeah, it's really not that expensive when all things considered. Uh, if you do want to check out GS Specialties, like I said, all, the, all their links will be down in the description box below. I'll actually leave the link for this particular uh, wheel as well. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!